Hi, I am Sarveshwar Rao. I will be presenting the work on selectivity of small molecules against homologous protein family. Selectivity is one of the major challenge in the drug design and it is often difficult to achieve when the target protein belongs to homologous family. A recent study found that around half of the drug bull targets belong to four homologous families. Now let's look at this toy example for understanding the selectivity. Here even though these five molecules were found to inhibit protein 4 during the experiments, only molecule 3 and molecule 5 were found to be selective against only protein 4. Remaining three molecules, molecule 1, molecule 2 and molecule 4 for having off-target side effects. To address this issue, we have built a multitask model. To conduct this study, we have collected inhibitors of Janus kinase and dopamine receptor family of proteins from Xcape DV and CHEMBL library. We have taken a cutoff of 6 to label the molecules in these data sets as active and inactive. Then we calculated the active inactive distributions for each target as seen in this table. Using the curated data sets, we have trained 5 different algorithms and measured the model performance using various metrics. It was interesting to see that uh, Axiboost was performing better than the other models in all the evaluation metrics for both the, for the both data sets. The right hand side figure shows the validation of models on three external data sets. Here also we see a Axiboost performing marginally better than the remaining algorithms. Interesting fact here is here in this study was Exibust model was able to distinguish structurally similar molecules with different uh, uh, labels. Here, substituting hydrogen with uh, uh, ethyl group made the molecule inactive against JAK3. And in another case, uh, substituting this particular substructure with this one made the molecule inactive against JAK2. The next step in the pipeline after building these model was to interpret them using the sharp method to see which substructure the model was looking at while making the prediction. The left hand side figure shows the distribution of mean sharp values for top 20 ECFP4 bits of chalk uh, inhibitors. The right hand side one shows cumulative sharp percentage for top ranked features. From this analysis, we found that uh, 220 features were contributing 80% to the overall predictive performance of the model and around 600 features contributed less than 0.01% meaning uh, presence of these 600 features do not affect the performance of the model. Next we further analyzed uh, top 10 ECF board bits from the sharp method to identify the prominent uh, substructures for each target based on the RP score. The first row here represents the important fragments identified by the model for JAK1 protein. The second and the third row corresponding to JAK2 and JAK3 respectively. A similar analysis was carried out for the homolox of dopamine receptor family where active and inactive fragments were identified for all the five homolox. And in conclusion, the selectivity of the homolog target proteins was uh, addressed using multitask prediction model and the model was validated on two well-known family of proteins, Janus kinase and dopamine receptors. We found that uh, ECFP4 uh, with Exibust uh, to be the best performing model on these data sets and the proposed method can be extended to understand the selectivity of existing drug molecules against 
all druggable uh, molecules and identify the off target side effects